wouldn't be a PTL Open without putting uh, everybody's favorite Astro Metroid, R5 Don 4, onto the stream. Yeah, Don. <laughs> so we've got to get Don representation in there. He's always uh, amazing. Always great to see him on stream. Always happy to go on stream, whether or not it goes his way. He's always a great player to watch and play. Mm -hmm. And just an overall wonderful human being. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there's Papa Tristan. We love Tristan as well. We love that guy. Yeah, I love him uh, personally. Again, Tristan Singleton is um, our first ever PTL Open champion. Yeah, With yeah. That amazing seismic torpedo, Y wing, X wing, crazy stuff. He, uh, had, last he year. had he had a crazy list, uh, a couple crazy lists last year. Yeah, um, and one of which I faced and was decimated by twice. <laughs> Um, the, uh, um, it was it a couple of X wings and a Y wing and it was just, it was, it, it was gross. Okay. Um, and by gross, I mean good. It just kicked my butt. Um, but, uh, let's see what he's got today. Yeah. Uh, it actually looks like more rebel jank, just the same sort of thing that he's used to. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got, uh, Nora Wexley with ion cannon turret and proton bombs. In her Y wing. In her Y wing. Her. Yep. Uh, the new Y-Wing Nora is actually really tanky. That ability to add a free evade, re evade result um, anytime you're next to uh, near an enemy is so good. Um, it's one of the few abilities in the game that just adds a free result. Mm. Um, and, uh, and it is just super powerful. It really keeps that, uh, keeps that um, Y-Wing alive a lot longer than you would expect it to be. Uh, we've got Supernatural Luke, so this is a pretty standard build. Supernatural Reflexes, Servo Motor, F Spoils, and Proton Torps. So you're able to say that, but I can't. <laughs> what, I Servo Motor? Yeah, I was trying to say it yesterday. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't get through it. Yeah, there you go. Um, so with, with that, um, Luke can take um, actions before he moves. Um, and it is uh, basically solid. Oh, <laughs> looks like we've got a little bit of music going on in uh, in the uh, uh, space beneath us. So our, can our, can our cantina band has decided to start playing. Yeah, for us, so it's convenient. <laughs> Hopefully that won't be too disturbing for you guys, and you guys can hear us speak more than uh, you can hear the uh, hear the music in the background. Um, cool. Uh, Tristan also has Lieutenant Blount, uh, who um, what does Blount's ability do? Exactly. Uh, well, I remember what he did in 1.0, but I'm not 100% sure if he's still the same in 2.0. That's no, yeah, no problem. Yeah, uh, we will bring that up in a second. Um, and uh, we also have AP5, who with uh, AP5 just manages to coordinate. It's just a little coordinate chip. Uh, so, and he can coordinate ships that are stressed. So Blount's ability in 2.0 is when you perform a primary attack, mm -hmm. if there's at least one other friendly ship at range 0 to 1 of the defender, you may roll one additional attack die. Oh, okay. Not bad for a Z95. Yeah, Z95, you can get three dice attacks. So I guess the prim primary idea is get Nora into the middle there uh, and have Blount taking three dice attacks from afar. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> well, that's a very good balance. That's, a good, that's some good Rebel Synergy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty good, pretty good synergistic thing. Meanwhile, it looks like he's taking the um, uh, Luke down across uh, the bottom here. Yeah. Over on Don's side, what do we got? Well, he's rocking everybody's favorite bounty hunter, Boba Fett, with the build that we should expect to see. Uh, but the only difference here being that Forlom versus the um, different crew. So the trick shot, mm. I like. It's a low, low cost alternative. Trick shot's great. Yeah. You can fit it on any ship. And it replies to both arcs, I believe. The Han Gunner, we've been talking about a lot. It's a great use of three points. Mm -hmm. uh, the Forlom ability allows you to basically it change it a little bit in 2.0. Now you get uh, two ion tokens and able to nu nerk, um, nuke out one of your opponent's green tokens. Yes. So that yeah. way, when you put them onto a medium base ship, yeah. which is almost always where he's going to end up being placed on, you at least get guarantee get that negative effect of the ion token. Yeah. And then the Marauder how, title we saw last that last round as well. I don't know how often more, a Forlom is going to come into play here. Um, Nora's getting free evades, doesn't need tokens for that. Right. Luke's got his force charges. Um, so we'll see. Um, right. And then there's the pal up that we're going to get used to seeing pal up when you're seeing scum lists. He's, yep. just, he's just too good not to take, uh, especially at that really effective 55 pipe price, price point range. Mm -hmm. It's very cheap with the Debris Gambit, Moldy Crow, and Triple O. Um, I, I got to admit that the Debris Gambit is a cool choice. I haven't seen that before. I'm liking it versus mm -hmm. the... I don't know if I would want to give an engine upgrade on him, but to have that in there is very interesting. Well, to regain what's interesting because um, Palab just focuses for the first two turns and then is holding on to those, which means mm -hmm. he has the actions to evade later on in the game. And he can always steal somebody else's evade if you're silly enough to take one. And evade focuses one to two. tokens, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, so Debris Gambit is what's going to keep him alive a little bit longer, yeah. I think. Uh, this is the sorry to cut you off. Though, the interesting thing I really want to see are those are those Zs, the mm. binary pilots with the ho homing with the missiles. homing missiles. Now that's a new 
potential setup that we haven't seen very much of in 2.0 that might be unexplored territory, <laughs> you could fit a ton of binaries with homing missiles on them. Yep. And almost that like guaranteed auto damage. Now, of course, their big downfall being they have to have that target lock. But if you have options and abilities to get those target locks where they can survive the damage, or if you just spam a bunch of them, 27 points... If you you would have helped fit, fit what, 10, that, 8, 7? No, um, that would be six of them, I think. Um, let's see, six times 27 is what? Well, six times 27 would be 162. You can so you use fit, seven of them. You fit seven of them. Seven times 27 is 189, yeah. Yeah. You could totally fit seven um, pirates uh, with homing missiles on them. And that's potentially seven guaranteed damage that goes through on, a, on an ace that you Yeah, could. yeah. Well, the way homing missiles work is the target can choose to just cancel all the dice and take one damage, right? Agreed. Um, so there's a lot of times where you'll choose to roll the evade dice against them. Um, but uh, just be, that pressure of being like, do you want that damage? Who knows? Interesting, um, yeah. Lord, why is Luke so far ahead? My assumption is that Tristan is going to want to um, basically pincer. It's almost a, it's a classic type of maneuver because uh, Luke is a lot faster with the supernatural reflexes. The X-Wings yeah. have gotten a lot faster now. They can boost off the top and then do the three bank and then they can mm -hmm. still barrel roll. Um, I'm guessing he wants to split up his forces to not present as big of a target. And as we're talking about, Luke is his kind of his clutch piece. Yeah. The longer Luke is out of the fight and able to side sideborn somebody from the side, mm -hmm. the better it's going to be for Tristan. Yeah, you don't want Luke uh, getting swarmed. You want him swinging around the edge, right? And it looks like off. it looks like that's the plan here. In fact, it looks like he's trying to keep Luke and Blount together. Uh, um, just noticed Blount there is missing a missing a gun That's on one same, side. It's the same busted Blount that uh, Tristan ran last, last year. year. Yep. <laughs> uh, that, that gimped wing, I love it. Well, I mean, he wasn't is. playing Blount at that point. They were yep. just they were just uh, Talas, but still. Um, so my guess is here that um, uh, that Luke is going to be just doing a three bank and coming in alongside Blount, and they're going to come in through the middle of the map to chase after these Z95s here. Um, Nora's probably going to uh, come in close. And it also looks like Don might be wanting to do the same thing. He might take his two his two Zeds with uh, Palab and go up that open lane and then bring Boba out the back as well to Pinsir mm -hmm. on the opposite side of things. It's also good to point out that I... No, I'm wrong. I was about to say something that was completely false. Nope, okay. <laughs> All right, that's fair. I was about to say that Palab can coordinate the target lock, which he can't do. He's got red jam, not red not red coordinate. Yeah, that's right. Palab has a um, uh, jam, no coordinate. So that's first, right. death revive in 1991. Does that mean a Zed only rolls one attack die? No, it doesn't. It's up to the <laughs> defender to decide. No, no, no. He's talking about the one one cannon oh, on that Zed that's, 95. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yes, <laughs> that, it's, it's definitely nerfed. And then Roll Squadron Ace, absolutely not. He'll be fine. The uh, Fire Spray has a hard one right, also a hard two. There's no way it's flying off the board next time. Yeah, round. yeah, yeah. He would not would not do that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it'll be interesting well, to good, see. Good question. Good thing to point out. It never hurts to kind of ask those kinds of questions. You never know. So, so just actually going, going slow with Luke. I guess we were all assuming he'd want to come uh, in. Maybe he wants to... I think that was a supernatural boost. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. So again, supernatural lets him spend one of his force charges to do a booster barrel roll. But as we know, you regen one force around, and Luke actually can regen as much, much force as he wants when he's being attacked. Yep. So it's really uh, basically something you want to do almost every turn. It's kind of like the old advanced sensors... Um, well, basically anything. It's exactly that, yeah. Star Vipers, etc. It's a et cetera, force powered advanced sensors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yes. Uh, and it's it's really solid. So, what is Luke doing? Yeah, Rose and Squadron. Yeah, none of us are bank. really ready to, aren't 100% used to the medium bases yet either, but you're right. Had that been the uh, big base, that would be a bit dicey, though I think the hard one would have cleared anyways. Yeah, I. you know what? I'm finding the. Um, I'm finding the medium base is actually really nice to fly. Yeah, um, I love them. They're a little, they're a little bit getting used to, to figuring out exactly what you can and can't make. Mm -hmm. Like I've clipped rocks a few times with them, but overall, such a uh, positive addition to the game. Yeah, it just makes it, it makes it fit a little bit better. I feel right? like every Certain single ships. ship that is sitting on a medium base is, a, it feels so much more right than it used to be. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like the either they were small and awkward. Yeah. Right. It's like, oh, this seems like it should be bigger. Yeah. Or. It was too big on the small base. Like the aggressors. So, yeah, you know, the aggressor, IG, the IG-88s were definitely felt like they were smaller than they flew a lot smaller. The yep. U-Wing definitely <laughs> felt a lot smaller. The K-Wing, the Punisher, definitely felt a lot bigger. Yeah, yeah. So now they're now they're more appropriate. And uh, and um, I'm 
enjoying it overall. Yep. Um, let's see here. Cool. Uh, have you ever seen any missed target locks? Uh, so it's actually really impossible to miss a target lock nowadays. Well, yeah, the change that, to it in 2.0 it makes it much more difficult for you to miss a target lock because, yeah. actually, sorry, you were about to explain. Well, you uh, get the, um, uh, you say you're taking a target lock, then you measure to all your possible targets and then pick one. Exactly. Um, if there is nothing in range, you've got to pick a rock. Right, because you are allowed target locking rocks and yeah. so on now. So the only way to fail a target lock would be if there was literally nothing within range three of you. Yeah, which would be um, very, very difficult to do in the way the game is set up. Yeah, exactly. It's almost impossible. But then again, um, with seismics, exploding debris, and stuff like that now, we, yeah. it's it's feasible. But it's the least failable action, I think, in the game. Uh, well, I mean, you can never, never fail a focus or an evade That's or anything true. like that. Well, true. Um, but uh, more likely, yeah, the things that you will fail are boosts and barrel rolls, because yeah. you can't boost a barrel roll into a rock. Yeah. Um, all right, so what are we expecting here? I think, uh, yeah, Luke is charging ahead. Um, <clears throat> so, Lord of Britannia, that was true. Um, uh, Lord of Britannia says, I thought you had to declare the target first. Uh, that was true in 1.0. In, in 2.0, it's different. Yeah. Now you say you're taking a lock, and you get to measure uh, any and all targets that you might want to choose from. So you declare the action, and then you check all situations in which that action would succeed, thereby measuring th available targets in range 1 to 3. And then as Tristan did in the last round, he declared target lock. His goal was to pull it on the, the binary. Uh, when that ship was out of range 1 to 3, he then had to check for any other viable targets that were at range 1 to yep. 3, which was the asteroid, which is why he then had to take the, as the action there. Yeah, and um, I mean, why not? It also just gives him valuable range information, right? Exactly. That's probably he knows why he did it. He's just barely out of range 3. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and having that understanding is going to be really good for him. Yeah, so that he knows now that if he's going to supernatural reflex for like a 1 boost forward, mm -hmm. and then he can bank, he'll have a focus token, and he's probably going to tag that binary. So here's what I would do with Luke here this turn. I would boost to the left okay and then Come around behind and then bank three bank uh to the right interesting uh, that way he's behind everything interesting that 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 is what i would probably be doing with luke okay uh also hopefully trying to keep him out of the way of those uh potential binaries because mm -hmm. i mean i think you're gonna take the two hits on luke anyways you're not gonna roll dice he doesn't have enough evade dice to try to take two homing missile shots right he's gonna just take the shots but it's still two shields down and then that forces you to Actually, oh, look at that. He Does Does he not have a droid on his Luke? Uh, oh, he doesn't. No droid. Huh, how about that? Um, so what we'll do is I'll, you, we can go in uh, chess and I'll I'm fill fine. in on the commentary. Or uh, on pizza, if yeah. You, pizza. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are okay with waiting and eating it later? No, yeah, I'd much yeah, rather yeah, have yeah. You, 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 you do your thing. Uh, and uh, I, I'm okay with waiting. Yeah, um, no rush. I'm just discussing our pizza options, folks. Uh, because what is a game of... Uh, a peek I, behind I, the curtain. Yeah, what is a day of gaming without uh, pizza? Drink and yeah. drinking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're actually hosting our tournament here in a, uh, a local Legion, uh, which is... Um, how would you describe the Legion for the non-Canadians? Uh, 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 like, it's a veteran. It's an awesome place, first of all. There are yeah. amazing facilities that you can go. It's a place for where veterans can come and be part of a... Uh, it's like a social club. Kind yeah, of. A lot yeah, like the, yeah. It's honestly a lot like the PTO. Yeah, yeah, fair like, enough. That's all we do. We get together and we have excuses to drink and party and hang out. Which yeah. I wouldn't, I would never say anything negative about Legion. And, They're amazing. No, no, no. And, and the the Canadian Legions um, here in Toronto, they own all these different spaces yeah. uh, that are like little um, uh, venues. So they've got, um, as you can hear, the music that's coming from a room downstairs where I guess they're some sort of party or band practice Thematic or something going Thematic cantina on. band that we yeah. hired specifically <laughs> for this event. Thank you, sir. Um, and so they're basically veterans clubs yep. uh, in in the city. Um, and they're also amazing places to hold events. Yep, amazing places to hold events. And uh, we've got a bar downstairs and uh, um, if we want to get ourselves drinks. And uh, great. Okay, so you guys have Legion clubs in the, in the U.S. as well. Perfect. Uh, I didn't realize they were called the same thing. Um, cool. Anyways, that's where we are today, and uh, thanks very much to uh, the Toronto Legion for hosting us. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yeah. So there's that Boba 2 bank, which we expected. Now, does he boost, or does he not boost? Uh, Boba boosts here. Yeah, absolutely. There we go. Boba takes that well, one straight or one bank? One, one bank, bank, of yep. course. Yep. I think that's exactly what I would have probably wanted to do as well. Yep. And here he's going to get shots off on Nora um, before Nora gets uh, close enough to take advantage of the... Um, Take advantage of her ability, right? Right. This is how you want to shoot Nora, right? When she's at, uh, when she's 
at range two or three. And that's three, the dangerous thing about the Y-Wing. And not range one. It desperately wants to get into that range one, especially with yep. Nora, and it's very, really difficult for it to get and, that. And here, she's go here she goes, right? She's just charging in. Yeah. Um, so she was coordinated to focus from AP5. Mm -hmm. Where does the stress come from? Uh, that's not a stress. That is a target lock, I believe. No, that's the stress token. That's the it's wonderful salt salt mines. Uh, oh, that is a stress token. The salt token. squad's uh, f uh, it'd be, um, stress token, which I'm finally owning, uh, proud owner of too. Hmm. Thank you, Kyle. Love you, buddy. Uh, did he barrel roll with her last turn? Maybe that's... Oh, that could have been it, yeah. because the barrel roll is red on a Y-Wing now. Yes. Unless you take expert handling. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Well, they have a barrel roll now, uh, which is great. As We're does putting... the Zed, which we saw last round as well. Yep, yep. They're, they're... The fact that they've been given movement options, even though they're red, but they're still movement options. Well, as we've seen, as, and I think... Um, I think it might have been Frank Brooks or somebody had pointed out, we see them barrel roll in the movie, so it makes sense that they uh, Yeah, it's not that they don't or yeah. can't, yeah. right? <laughs> it's just they're heavy and they're not meant to, so it stresses their... It stresses ah, their little see, fringes. This is interesting. So no supernatural reflexes. There's no need to waste the force. Ooh, that is... Oh, okay. That's a straight. Okay. Yeah, yeah straight that's a perfectly three. fine place for Luke. He's going to have a focused target lock shot on that Zed. No problem. I still would have I still would have gone around the rock on the outside mm. and just had the shot from behind, right? No, n not charging in on... Uh, <clears throat> uh, not charging in uh, directly on these guys. Right. Um, but Tristan uh, will definitely move his lock over yeah, to, to something a new more ship. important. Yeah, and then he'll have four, force option. Unless he's just going to not take a target lock at all. Where are we going to move that target lock? Oh, well, he's, he's measuring. He's, seeing he's checking for Bulba. Lock, Bulba. It looks like it was just, just out. Just out of range? So now he's deciding he's going to have to take a target lock, so he's going to just tag that front Z. Yeah. A binary. Sorry. Might as well kill kill the, the pirate. Um, if he can. Yeah. And um, let's see here. <clears throat> the question is, is Nora within range one? I don't think so. I don't so think so Blount either. Blount is not going to get his extra die. Nope. Nora's not going to get the free evade. Nope. So she's actually going to take a lot of damage here, yep. I think. So Don electing to use Boba Fett's uh, Han Gunner solo. Yep. Han Solo Gunner. Sorry. Yep. Taking that stress to get that free focus action. Get, again, as we said, three point PTO. Um, it looks Never like a bad yeah, choice. your two and three markers are switched on the board there. Oops, I yeah. shouldn't move it up. Sorry? Yeah. I just have to hit refresh and it magically nails it. So. Oh, there we go. Auto magically. Perfect. Okay. We, we fixed our little markers. Thank you for uh, pointing that out to us. Uh, I'm loving the Katina Band music, though. This is actually Yeah, really so it's awesome. kind of nice. Not too loud. <laughs> Can you all hear that music on our mics? It might be a little faint. We're loving our smooth jazz. Yeah. yeah some classic jazz going on downstairs. All right, so who's shooting who here? I believe it looks like Don has initiative, so he will start with his um, pile of magically expensive dice. <laughs> he's got so many to choose from. Stop winning so much stuff, Don. Um, and it looks like he's going to activate. Yeah, he's activating first, so Boba is, in fact, having initiative. Yeah, okay, so Boba's shooting first. Uh, Trays be damned. Double focus. Good thing he's got a Han Gunner. Focus token spent for two hits. Tristan's rolling attack die. Why is Tristan I don't know what game thing? he's playing. Yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> evade die. There you go. There it is. Does he spend the focus? I think he does. To avoid a hit on mm -hmm. Han? Uh, on Nora. Oh, on Nora. Yeah. I think you absolutely yeah, Oh, yeah, do. absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you're never going to get more than one, so no. you might as well. Exactly. Um, now, and... Nora could potentially take a crap ton of damage. As well. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, with uh, the, It's not going to be torpedoes, those... Pirates don't have the target locks, mm -hmm. but even then, those two dice attacks can get through her, her one die. Mm -hmm. Right. Next turn, though, she's going to be right in it. Right. Right uh, where she wants to and be. And she'll be cannon. getting that free evade. Yeah. <clears throat> An AP five still can do damage. I mean, he's able to attack. Right. You know what? I've I've done damage Ooh. with AP five. Uh, so that's a proton torp shot. Yep. Four natural hits against a Z ninety five. And that's Oof. literally the definition of a dead Z. <laughs> Yep, that is a Z getting taken off uh, with one shot. Yep. Um, Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Yeah, absolutely. Um, really well done. Yes. And uh, great shot from Luke. Looks like Luke drank his green milk this morning. Yeah. Fresh from the whatever walrus cow thing it was. Uh, it looks like Nora's about to take a shot as well. Uh, that's going to be the ion cannon turret or the primaries. I can't tell what well, direction the turret have, is going. He doesn't have veteran turret gunners, so there's no way he, he won't be able to activate both. Yeah, yeah. So Just can't tell or. if it's the primaries going forward or or not. It looks like Nora's. I think I want to say that her arc is actually pointed ship right. 
yeah, going towards, towards Boba. Boba. Yeah. So it looks like it might be primaries forward. And then they're just trying to find where the closest point is. Yeah, because they're actually checking range on Boba Fett there. Yeah. So it looks like it's just primaries, two dice, against the Z95? I think so. I don't know. I, mean, I, think, no, I, think, I think I would take that shot, personally. Yeah, Ion against Boba, for if sure. If you can get lucky right. enough to get a damage through... Now, with Ion Cannon, though, if you don't do two damage, you just do one damage, right? You don't get uh, yeah, an Ion so Token unless you do more than two? More than one damage, right? So you do one damage plus one Ion Token for every damage Oof. after that. But this is perfect. If uh, Boba whiffs, he'll have taken two Ion Tokens and a damage. It looks like he only takes one damage and one Ion Token, yeah. though. But um, I actually like that. That's a great roll for Tristan, and I like yeah. that call. The, the threat of the Ion near the rocks is yeah. huge. Absolutely. I'm a fan next of that turn, choice. Next turn depends on where Boba goes here. Yeah. Uh, he's going to be, uh, if he gets Ion again, probably uh, heading straight into a rock. I think he could potentially, because I think AP5 will come in, coordinate a focus onto Nora. Yep. Nora does a one bank and has her forward arc pointing one direction, turret the other. She's in a great position. Or, I mean, Tristan can just continually roll hot fire all day, too. Mm -hmm. That helps. Absolutely. That's never a bad choice. Don has to be very specific about the dice he picks because he wants them to do something for him at one point. <laughs> Don's very... Uh, I think he's got a bit of superstition around his dice. I don't know exactly how that works, but he seems very particular as he's picking them up. I mean, if I just saw a Zed get deleted for no, with no <laughs> cause, I would have you a little bit super Not I'm superstitious with my dice yeah. all the time. Unfortunately, I don't have as many nice dice as Don does. Yeah. I only uh, have the glitter Looks like ones. the Moldy Crow is taking a primary shot against Nora. Nice. Uh, looks like three hits. That'll be damage for sure. Range three. Ooh, all the damage. You love yep. that. So that's three hits right into Nora, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. um, He's into hull already. But you know what? This is what Tristan wants, I think, right? Uh, target Nora. She's got the most hull. Um, uh, maybe she'll take some damage. Um, but she'll live through that first joust. And then later she'll be in the mix getting those free of eights. Interesting. Uh, so that's one more damage, uh, the shot from the Z95 yep. into Nora. Nora takes one more haul. So she's down to three now? There it goes. Perfect. Uh, it's a sizable chunk of Tristan's force. Now he is, he still has Luke. Yep. Um, and we cannot deny how good Luke is. Yeah, Luke is great. Um, Luke is absolutely great. I still think he's in the wrong position here. I think Luke should have been on the other side of the rock. Mm. That well, he could supernatural reflex for a barrel roll back and then one bank, and then he can still tag Palab or Bobo with a proton torpedo. Yeah, true, true. The good thing about Luke is that he, or all force use, is that they're a natural counter to Palab because you don't need tokens if you have the force. Yeah, there's nothing to nothing to steal. Exactly. Um, he's just going to be taking his target locks and using his force tokens to modify his dice. So, AP5, probably a hard two into the fight. I though, However, though, I think if I'm done, I think I'm happy with that exchange. I think, I mean, it sucks to give up one of my Zeds that is a blocker, but I think I'm okay to have done that much damage on Denora and to be potentially taking her off the board this turn. That's huge for him. He's still going to have to deal with Luke. Right. But he's only down one ship, and, and he's put a ton of damage into Nora. Mm. And, I mean, AP5 is not really much of a threat, but the Jin being on there is really interesting. <clears throat> so, Nora's going after... Um... Death Revive, great reference. Awesome, I appreciate that. He says, can't wait until Thrawn comes in and we can strap lizards to our ships to block the force. I have a feeling they aren't going to do much hard force counter cards like that, though. That would be... Like, that would I defeat the purpose the, of pain. Zuvon Vong or whatever. Yuzan Vong will yes. thankfully never appear because they're not canon. Yeah, they're not canon at the moment. They, um, they die at the hands of the Disney god, which is yeah. good, thankfully. <laughs> And, and the idea of just, here's a hard counter to those force points that you paid so much for. That's the um, thing. There is not, not a, that's, that's not going to be a thing. There's not a single force user that comes in at under 70 points. Yeah, exactly. So we're not, we're not going to see cards that say you can't spend force tokens. But I appreciate um, the thought. Even, even the new blinded pilot uh, lets you spend force tokens. Exactly. Right? Um, as opposed to modifying in other ways. So, I, I just cannot wait until the uh, next two factions comes out and we get Anakin in a Jedi Interceptor. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what uh, the CIS and uh, the, the, the Separatists... Isn't Ezra less than 70 points? What's that? Isn't Ezra less than 70? Ezra doesn't count. Oh, uh, sure. yeah. Uh -huh. I'm talking about real Force users, ones from the movies. I know you're right, though. Uh, Lord of Britain is asking <laughs> you what he missed me. in this last round. You um, missed a ton of damage being applied to Nora. Basically, uh, just a whole bunch of shots from Boba, the Z95s, and Palop. And Luke, to get damage through on Nora. And Luke was definitely able to uh, target a Womp Rat and a C16 back home because yeah. he smoked a Z95. 
Nora's actually regretting not being within range 1. If she had just been like a smidge closer to the Z95s, uh, she would have gotten her free evades every every shot. Um, and I think that's really good range control on Don's part, though. He was yeah. able to get that engagement out of range 2, um, negating Nora's ability. Uh, Death Revived is um, excited for vulture droids, apparently. I'm excited about everything in that wave, personally. As much as I might decry any of the prequels, I love the ship combat and the ships in general in the prequel trilogy. Yeah, yeah, there's some great ship designs. I'm all over the new faction. Yeah, it'll be interesting wait. to see the Jedi Starfighter yeah. and the yes. um, the little Naboo hot yes. rod things. And Those the goddamn cool. Sith infiltrator and Maul in a ship. Yep, yep. Give it to me now. Yeah, that, there'll be some interesting stuff going on there. Yeah, a uh, large base ship that can hopefully cloak. Better be? Uh, yeah, or medium, large or medium. I, I think we're thinking it's going to be large. Yeah, so that'll, that'll be interesting. Um, the vulture droids, I'm really curious as to what they're going to do with all the droid ships. You might um, be able to take 16, though. They might have, like, two health and they might be twinned together. Well, Who according knows? yeah, so according to the um, according to the tournament regulations, there's a hard cap of eight ships okay. per list, right? Uh, which is what Death Revived uh, mentions here uh, in the chat, um, which means... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, one thing they could do is, yeah, do like, it's actually two models on one base, um, and maybe if you kill one, it oh, dies, and then you, the, like, it has lowered, um, when it takes one damage, you end up lowering its attack value or something like that. Right. Um, <clears throat> could be interesting. A lot of, a lot of calculating ships, of course. Yeah. Um. So this, so back to the story quickly for the game at hand, this makes sense to me. Don tagging the AP5, he wants to reduce... Tristan's ability to coordinate focuses and barrel rolls and yep. get out of his block patterns. This choice I enjoy. I, this does make sense. And it looks yeah. like he's probably going to tag. But you know what, though? Again, if I'm Trist if I'm Tristan, I take the one damage. Now, what's the range on homing missiles? I one believe they're one to two. two. I think they're one to two, but I might Can be mistaken. Homing missiles are uh, range, oh, what is it? Two say? to three. Two to three. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I think that's actually a range one. You're right. He might yeah, not so, actually so be able to. So I think to. he's safe. Although, that being said, he's at range 1, so it's a 3-dice shot coming from that seat. Um, now, real curious as to what Boba does here. I think he just one-banks in and smooshes somebody. Yep. yep. That's what I would do with him. Fly him aggressive. Yeah, because he gets re-rolls for a dice uh, on his attacks, right? Absolutely. Every, and for every and for one die re-roll for each enemy, uh, each ship at range 1. Yep, exactly. Uh, so if, he's, um, if he comes screaming in, he might be able to get two rerolls. Yeah, a two bank here would um, put him in a position to get two rerolls against uh, AP5. Mm -hmm. It's also important to point out that with the Boba Fett, he doesn't care about being blocked with Han Gunner. Uh, so it looks like Luke has been coordinated for a target lock. That makes sense to me too. Uh, and he tried to target lock against Pala, but he was just out of range, so he's taking it against the Z95. Yeah. So I would expect to see Tristan do a supernatural reflexes barrel roll back on the one bank. That's going to be a little tricky. You're not going to be able to go that far back. That might put him on the rock. Hmm. Um, he was trying to take that target lock against Palop, so yeah. I'm willing to bet he's planning on barrel rolling uh, back yep. and then doing like a one forward. Interesting. That's my guess. But we'll see. Palop sitting on his triple token stack. That's, that is now in 2.0 the most amount of focuses Palop can store. He can store two and then hold on to one this mm -hmm. new one. Looks like uh, Blount just does a one forward, intentionally bumping up against Luke. Mike Beard, I like where your head's at. Wave 3 Wedge, Atelier's young Wedge in an A-Wing with Phoenix Squadron. Uh, I, can, I can be down for that. He, is, he does show up in... He shouldn't get the same ability, or no, he should not be anywhere near PS. He shouldn't even be PS4. He should be like a PS2 at that point. Ooh, uh, young Wedge in an yeah. A-Wing? Mm. Pretty cool. Not his current ability, though. Wouldn't well, make sense. because his current ability... Oh, I don't know. Reducing current, the evade dice? Ah. Yeah, current abilities could be good. And actually, reducing the evade dice would be a great ability on an A-Wing. Right, that's true. Um, and, and and he would still be pretty high PS because he's still a, like a ace pilot as a as a young uh, uh, young character, right? So, so uh, actually, yeah. I hadn't thought about that. We might see Wedge in an A wing uh, in the new A wing pack, uh, and that uh, I still think that we're going to get Hera and Tycho. Uh, I want probably. my Tycho. I want yeah. Tycho back. Well, we're definitely going to get Hera. Tycho's not in any of the canon new canon, so maybe they won't bring Tycho back. Mm. Um, maybe they give Young Wedge Tycho's ability. Yeah, or maybe it could be fun. All right, so. so so Don doing exactly what we thought he would do with Boba, bring them in there to maximize his ability. He yeah. doesn't have to worry about Luke's torps. He can just come in and smush Nora. Yeah, no, he's gonna take Nora off the board, I think. With with um... uh, who shoots first here, though? Well, it doesn't matter though. Don's because... got initiative, so he'll shoot first. Right, and Nora uh, but does not clear. Nora's PS five, so Nora also will get a shot back no matter what. But she won't clear. Nora tried to do a two forward and doesn't clear. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. Um, 
Well, you know what? It's kind of okay because she's still going to get that ion shot against Boba. That's true. Uh, which means um, if Tristan plays his cards right, he can block Boba the next turn using uh, AP5. Uh, oh, he does clear. Oh, wow. Nice. So let, he'll probably want to turn his... Um, uh, probably want to turn his arc back? Or does he... No, he has Boba got, on the side arc. Yeah, he's got yeah. Boba on the side. Yep. I mean, he's going to eat it anyways. Nora's going to eat it. She's going to get the free mm. evade from her ability, though. Mm -hmm. Which is cool. But I think because he's got that one ion already stacked on Boba, I think he wants... I think he wants Oak Boba to be ioned. Hmm. We've got Because he, uh, he could put another damage through an ion Boba and make him go for one forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Luke's just doing a one bank. Also blocked. Which is unfortunate, but um, not really terrible because um, with uh, with the for focus, uh, sorry, the force tokens, mm -hmm. uh, Luke doesn't care so much about being no. blocked. Also, it's glad that Tristan doesn't listen to me because the one barrel mm -hmm. bank back. Mm -hmm. The one barrel rolled back was supernatural, and then the one bank did look a little bit suspect <laughs> and close to the rock. It's a good thing he's not listening to me. We've got folks in the chat here um, pining for an Ahsoka back in the tie or in the A-Wing. See, I don't think they will put Ahsoka in the A-Wing. Um, I think they're going to save Ahsoka for the um, the uh, New Republic. Or, sorry, the Old Republic. The Republic, that is. Yeah, I think um, so. I think you definitely see her in a... In a Jedi Starfighter. Yeah. 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 You'll see her there. That makes sense. They yeah. need pilots. Mm -hmm. Just give me Kit Fisto and I'll be happy. Oh man, there's gonna be so many Force users in that. Um, yes. <laughs> in that. Uh, and I better Yoda better get his own ship because he has a custom. Yeah, he's got that little yep. Tie Fighter looking ship yep. thing, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll see. <clears throat> uh, I think uh, we're gonna see a lot of Jedi Starfighters, though. I hope that pack just comes with like ten pilots. Yes. <laughs> All the Jedi Starfighters. All right, so who's shooting? It looks like Boba's taking the first shot. Yeah, range one. Four dice into Nora. He should get one reroll, but he took a target lock. So oh. I wonder if he... Okay, so Don did take a stress from Han Gunner to get the focus. Yeah, you want that focus target lock. Right now, Don's going to measure all of his available rerolls with Boba first, is what I would do. He's going to measure there and see... He's got a range one only there, so he's just got the one reroll. So now he can decide whether to use Boba reroll or target lock. We might as well use the target lock because Nora's Agreed. going to die anyways. Agreed. But he <laughs> wants to ensure her death, and he's only taking the one shot from Luke. So I probably spend the target lock here. Yeah. Oh, he's going to reroll the eye as well. Okay, he's going to um. hold on the focus for his evades. Turned to work out for him then. Okay, so he's got, there you go, two hits and a crit. Two hits and a crit against Nora, who does get one free evade. Yep. So, in fact, two evades total. She wow, takes a crit. just a crit and survives the attack. Although we never know. These crits can go pretty nasty. Yeah, she get a fuel leak or a yeah. hit or who knows what. <laughs> uh, what she, what uh, crit does she take here? I can't see it. What was it? We'll find out. Weapons failure. There we go. Oh, that sucks. Mm -hmm. um, that does suck. Um, although, Nora has range one with the ion cannon against Boba if she wants to take it. Um... Which, if I were her, I would. You don't uh, waste time shooting at Palop. So, here's a new thing in, in, in 2.0 as well, is that uh, ships... Uh, sorry. Um, cannons. Cannons and turrets. turrets. Uh, basically, anything that's not a munition gets the range bonus now. Yep. So, that ion cannon is actually four dice instead yep. of three. Um, so by but with weapons failure, now it's down to three. She spends the focus. Did she have a focus? Target lock. She had a target lock. Okay, so it's two hits against Boba again, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. Boba rolls his two dice. Gonna have, does it need a reroll? Money. Double evades and is safe. Looks like Nora is um, falling apart here. Didn't even get a chance to use a proton bomb. That's a real shame. Might make it out of this round. Who knows? Palob might whiff. Oof. Uh, I don't know. Palob's got all those focus tokens. It actually is a range one. one, so it's a four dice attack from Palob. Yeah. <clears throat> that being said, Nora gets that one free evade. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Um, we will see how it goes. Dice cannot go your way sometimes. Uh, Lord of Britannia, uh, who has the initiative? Uh, it looks like, based on what we've seen, Don, Don, yeah, Don, Don has, has the initiative. initiative. Yeah. Uh, so that is one hit from... Uh, who's shooting here? Luke at Pelop. Luke is shooting Pelop. Spending a force yeah. to get two hits. One evade. So spends the evade token. Where did he get the evade from? Oh, uh, it's a debris, debris gambit. gambit. Yeah. And he was at range one of that to get the white of debris. Oh yep. no. Yep. It's a great uh great little card. I should evade good. to basically anything. That ship's too good. 
55 points, nerf. Nerf, please. Too good. <laughs> so now we see that Hawk... Uh, no, we see Blount taking a shot at Palob as well. And this well. should be a three dice attack. Another three dice attack. It looks like it's unobstructed. Yeah. And they were just confirming the fact that Nora is still at range one of the Hawk, so he'll get so Blunt will have that third extra shot. Uh, no focus token for him though, so it's yep. only one hit. Because of the bump. Yep. Uh, One's all you need. Plenty of evades. Perfect. Now Palob shooting back. Yeah, it should be four dice. Yeah, there they are. At, oh, would you look at that? At Nora, good that thing, is... Good thing he has infinite tokens. Yeah. Hey, One she evade. evades. Two evade, but two she evades. takes hit crit. Still dies. Yeah. That's a, that's a hit crit and a dead Nora. So one thing I'm seeing, range three Nora, not so good. Range one Nora, very good. Well, range one Nora is great. That's where you want her to be. Yeah, but getting um, her in range one isn't exactly easy. No, you've got to be real careful on that approach. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm a huge fan of the surprise four straight. Um, yeah. That is, it feels like we're keeping our distance and I might do a one straight this turn. But actually, hey, look, I did a four straight and now I'm in range one. Right. <laughs> um, I do that with my, my Star Vipers all the time, and I would totally do that with these Y-Wings, uh, with Nora especially. Rose Squadron, you're right. I have no problem with Hawks being good. I just have a personal vendetta against Palov. He's too good. <laughs> I always lose to him. It's my own personal problem. Yeah, someone, in the, chat here, someone in the chat here mentioning that the Hawks, Hawks waited four years to be great. Uh, please leave them alone. <laughs> as long as they leave Punishers alone too. I waited three years for those to be good. Yeah, I think, you know what? I think the Hawks are good. I don't think they're amazing. Maybe Palov needs an extra uh, little point boost. But overall, um, <clears throat> overall, they're I'm happy solid. that there's lots of cool stuff. Uh, what shot was this? Don took a shot from, uh, oh, the Z95 into AP5, I think. That is true, um, Mike Beard. I, I could just take Troc and Guri, but I've, I'm, I'm an Imperial player at heart, so I just kind of always play Imperials, and I, Imperials need their tokens. I do need to try Terok at some point. Oh, he's great. Yes. He's just as good as he was in 1.0, but it's actually even better now because of how less tokens there are out there. Mm. So, Death Revive, uh, I, would, I would not hold your breath. The Upsilon's not going to be cheap. So two hits coming out of a... AP5 there against is. Boba? Or the Z95. Yeah, but he'll be able to reroll one of those? No, because Nora's no longer at range one. Look at that. AP5 for the win. You know, it's, sometimes AP5 puts in work, right? No it's, one expects that two dice attack, but, yeah. but the, the, the rear shots and... Um, uh, it's, those, it's those relatively cheap uh, support ships that you just plunk into your list that yep. people never forget, yep. never really think about, and you never see them coming. Yep, and every once in a while you get that one one little hit off of um, off of AP five when you're not expecting it. Yeah, um, and it it can swing a game because it can be enough to kill a ship. Yeah. yeah. So I'm assuming that Don didn't spend his uh, focus to his target lock because he wouldn't want to waste it. He's probably gonna want to K turn with a three, and then tag AP five with the with the missile attack uh, with the Z95? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He wants to wait and then tag him there. Uh, that Z95 is totally going to do a... Um, uh, what's the... Uh, a K-turn here. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> We've got folks uh, discussing the role of what the Upsilon shuttle will be. Oh, sorry. No, I wasn't... I was I was inferring that the... like When I said support shuttle, I was talking about things like... AP5, the escape pod, the yeah. hawk, the kinds of U-wings to some degree, ships that you take for their abilities or their ability to carry an interesting yeah, crew yeah. that they can contribute to the game. The Upsilon is definitely not a support shuttle. It's yeah, a no, it's, 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 a, it's a gunship, right? Yeah. It is It is a, you do not want to be in front of this thing. It's one of the few ships with a four dice primary. It's the only one, I think. Didn't the Ghost get nerfed down to three or not? Uh, no, Ghost still, still has four, four and okay. Dash has four. Dash is Dash. He's also a thousand points. Yeah. <laughs> Which, we haven't seen a single dash. Uh, no, we haven't. Uh, Have you put him on the table yet? Uh, I've played him once so far in 2.0. I haven't had a chance to play him mm. too much. He's good. Um, he, re I think, really requires Agile Gunner or something like that. Um, uh, which lets him get the free turn mm -hmm. arc action. Um, really helps out a lot. Alternatively, you throw something like Bistan on him so he gets double shots. Right. Um, I actually really like Lando on him. Right? Roll for those evades or focuses. Uh, just because I like gambling a little bit. 
Um, he's kind of the equivalent of um, the old Ray, right? Uh, yeah. Ray being able to store up those focus tokens was really great on Dash. Um, Lando being able to give you a couple each turn, potentially, also really good. Um, very useful. So, Don's got Marauder. He's also stressed. Hmm. Where's he going? Well, okay, let's see. What moves out of the way here first? Um, because Zed, Don has five. initiative, right? Yeah. So Don has to move before Luke. Yeah. That's actually really bad. This doesn't give... Um, okay, so uh, Marauder hard twos towards Tristan's side of the board. But then he doesn't clear stress. Hard two or three. Ah, uh, oh, good point. <laughs> hmm. AP5 has to move. And yeah. Here's and blocks most of Boba's moves. Here's a fun fact. The shuttle has a reverse now. Oh. Yeah, the shuttle has the straight reverse. Um, I might, if I were Tristan, just back up, right, um, where he is. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if he just tries to go one straight block Boba and then coordinate Luke. He's um, going to want to give Luke a target lock on yeah, Boba. Yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. If you go one straight, you you can just block some of Boba's options, but then you're leaving the space between the two rocks open for Boba to turn into, mm. right? If you go one forward, Boba can two bank and be past you. Clear stress. I'm pretty sure the two bank is uh, blue on on the... Um, on I think the, two bank is blue on, on most ships universally. Uh, one bank usually on most ships. Um but some, it's the two bank instead. Uh, let's take a look. We've got... One banks are blue on the fire spray, and Mike Beard is less known. Two banks are not. Thank oh, you for that. Oh, it's one banks. Yeah, one Thank banks. you for that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so it's one banks that are blue. Unless, of course, they have L337 on them, as we saw last game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Great, great I'm liking that actually. card a lot more the more I think about it. L337 is a great card. Yeah, I think I think it might fit better than Forlom here. Um, in general, yeah, I, I, use I, it. I, I think it's I only like four points or so, right? It's not I'm not actually sure. I'm not actually sure, uh, but I think I agree with you. I think I would. I think I would also rather have L3 than four long. Oh, how many points is L3? It's a good card. Um, L3. The four long just makes me feel like it's a killer. You get that range one shot. You you mm -hmm. you lock down tokens. You get re rolls. And you just you get the focus from Han and you just nuke something. Yeah, L3 is actually only four points. It's only one more point than um, four long. Uh, mm. I think having those green banks would be real great for, uh, sorry, blue banks, mm -hmm. uh, would be real great for the fire spray in general. Uh, hmm, I'm going to have to build a list around that, I think. Let's just see the 4K from the Zed. Not unsurprising. Nope. We were great choice. That. Yep. Um, he's going to have that shot against AP5, no matter yep. where AP5 goes, unless AP5 was expecting that and does the one reverse. That would be amazing. <laughs> is it a bank or only the rate? I think the it's straight. straight back? I'm pretty sure. Well, let's find out. Uh, I'm going to pull up the AP5 dial. Uh, he's not. He's doing a three bank. He's yeah. trying to block Palop. Um, AP5 dial has just the one straight back reverse, um, which would have been fantastic there, I think. Um, now he's going to take that homing missile shot. But I'm willing to bet he wants the coordinate. Yeah, true. He wants to be able to coordinate. Uh, I feel like he wants Luke. to coordinate Luke. Well, Luke's already got a target lock though on, on the Z, right? Uh, yeah, I think he's gonna coordinate Luke a target lock on Boba. So here's what, I, or maybe I know I nothing. would be. I would have a dialed in a 4K with Luke. Right. Because if Boba moves, I can just take the 4K. If Boba, um. If Boba doesn't end up where you could barrel roll, you could barrel roll then for supernatural reflexes right? for the barrel roll. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think I think that would be a great spot for. for and Luke. that's what he did do. He did coordinate the target lock onto Boba Fett. Onto Boba Fett. Yeah. yeah, because Luke is going to be behind Boba Fett next yeah. turn. So where's Boba going? That's the good thing to find out. We don't know. Yeah, what's the I fact think, that he's well, we're about to find out. The fact that he's flying Palab all the way through. Oh. Ooh. Boba's doing what? A three maybe, bank? Maybe Boba Fett's going ship right. It's a hard two. Interesting. He has Marauder. He has Rear Arc. Oh, and this makes sense. He doesn't want to turn into where his um, Z95 is. He's turning the other way mm -hmm. so that um, he can get the Rear Arc, right? Unless, wait, what did we just do here? Oh, that was Palo we were moving. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Using the Debris Gambit for the White of Aid. Yep. So the question is, is where is Boba going still? Mike Beard, Boba doesn't care about bumps because of Han Gunner. You're right, he doesn't. As long True. as he clears his stress so he can activate Han, he's totally fine with the self-bump. So maybe he does do the one forward. Tristan's bumping again. 
That's the only problem with him having his Luke in front of his Blount. Yeah. He's continually bumping it. Yeah. You want to clear that stress, though. Um, oh, well, I think... Sorry, not clear the stress. What Boba wants, though, is to have rear arc on folks. Right? Well, you know what, though? If he wants straight to clear stress and bumps, so, it's fine. He can Han... Which is, I think, what he's going to do. Looks like that's what he did. Yeah, he, yeah, he just won straight. Because then he'll stress. just Han. He's already got rerolls, anyways. Yeah, but um, but uh, having the back arc. Oh well, yeah. Sorry, he's already got rerolls, anyways. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, the Marauder title's mostly there. And he's got a four long. What did Luke do? Talon roll. Is that a Talon roll or hard three? We'll find out. I think it might have been a Talon roll. He was expecting Boba to go forward. I think so. I think Don beautifully used his pal up to block his Boba. Let's see if it's a Talon. It's a Talon. Yeah. No, it was a Talon. Yeah, so yeah. Tristan is de Tristan definitely expected Boba to fill that space and have the range one with Luke. Not so much. He's going to be able to kill the um, the Z95. But that's a really bad spot for Luke. Mm -hmm. That's a really bad spot for Luke. Um, I totally would have dialed in the 4K. And he could have barrel rolled and done a 4K and been right next to Boba. Right? In Boba's blind spot. And um, uh, not so far back. Right here, here he's got gonna getting range one shots from both Palob and from um, Boba. So that was a pretty brilliant move on Don's part, though. Yeah, that's a really bad bad spot for Luke to that be. That was a very good move on Don's part. That ah. that Palob play was clutch. I can o totally understand though the wanting to um, wanting to take those talent rolls. They're new. They're exciting. Right? It's also crafty, and it's also something you forget that they have potentially. Yep. The 4K, you, you get blocked if they don't move. The hmm. talent roll potentially is unblockable. Yeah, and he had no room for boosts or barrel rolls with Supernatural. Yeah. Especially the fact that Palab doesn't have engine upgrade. He knew it wasn't <laughs> going to be blockable, and yeah, I, I think he probably assumed, we, as we all did, with Marauder on the, on board, Don would want to move Boba forward. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of us really suspected the the personal the self block coming, and it was a brilliant maneuver. All right, so it looks like Boba's taking his shot. Yep, as he has initiative. That's four, four down. Dice. That's magic. Oof. Yowzer. Yassi. That's three hits and a crit against yeah. Luke, who does two and no um, no eyeballs, so he doesn't get to use his force tokens. Nope. So that'll be two shields and a crit. Two shields and a crit into Luke this turn. Really bad news for, for Tristan. Really bad news. Uh, loose what stabilizer that? looks like? Yeah, loose, loose stabilizer. stabilizer. Uh, so he's going to be doing straight maneuvers only, or he suffers damage. Mm -hmm. and because uh, he's stressed. Yeah, that's really limiting. He literally limiting. has one move now. He has really a bank. limiting. Really limiting. Yeah. Um, now we've got. Uh, what shot is this? That is Blount. I think firing into Boba. Yeah. Two of eights. Nice. Damn. Yeah. yeah Lords of Britannia, as Mike Beard's trying to say, uh, self blocking is not prohibited. Uh, fortressing is prohibitive, and fortressing yeah. really only identifies after you do two or multiple subsequent turns. Yeah. A one turn self block is actually just a brilliant play. Yeah. In fact, I think I think they even limited the. I think the definition is too narrow. It's only if none of your ships move. Yes. Two turns in a row. Yes. I think I think you could end up fortressing in a really negative play experience kind of way where your ships are moving but barely. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's also no fun. Um, but uh, self-blocking... spends an evade and still takes nothing. Self-blocking, totally fine and totally uh, a valid, useful strategy. Here comes Palop's range one on the Luke. Mm -hmm. This might be dead Luke. Might be. It's going to be four dice. Luckily, Palop has unlimited tokens. Oh, we could just do not a good optimal shot. Hit, hit crit, though. Hit crit. Luke generates a force, and doesn't oh, matter. Oh, no. Doesn't matter. Oh, no. Rolls two blanks, so Luke takes another hit and another crit. A direct kills him. His force, uh... What do we got? He is definitely not one with the force, and the force is not one with him. And no. That's blinded? No. Can't see it. Luke's Stunned pilot. Stunned. Uh, so if he bumps into something, he suffers oh one damage. God. And that one's not repairable. Um, also, look where he's positioned. There's literally no way Luke's not dead next turn. Yeah, so Luke is going one forward. All he has to... so He's got a hard three next turn. Um, or hard two, sorry. Well, no, if he takes, if he does a not straight, if he does not straight, he takes damage. Oh, so Luke's dead. If he bumps, he takes damage. Luke's oh, dead. right, he can't hit a rock. That's right. Luke's dead. Um, so Luke can do a one straight next turn, and that's about it. The Z will block him with a two forward. A one forward block. It's done. So that is hit blank and that is one of eight 
Was that the Z95 in Toluk? Much? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it would make sense. Just do attack dice. Yeah. yeah. And here's AP5 at the rear. Ooh, there it is. Some magic finally. Is that on Three Bulba? Oh, that's on Palab. Palab. Yeah. And Palab takes two. Shields down on Palab. Hmm. How about that? I guess he didn't want to give uh, the uh, Boba Fett the reroll. That he yeah, from yeah. Firing at him. AP5 doing work, right? As we were talking about, but now... But without Luke, oh, this is going to be real hard for um, uh, Tristan, Tristan to, yeah. to pull off here. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> right? Exactly, Mike. That's the whole point. Dan Palov, that's my point. Just... just, just <clears throat> To so, evade day, he, he you know he just he just stays along, he stays around too much longer than he should have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mars Mikebeard here saying that it's the first time someone has rolled well against Palop all day long, and I think we've seen Palop a couple times on stream today. Yeah, three times, four times. You're gonna see him uh, in every scum list. The, yeah, you're I gonna mean, see him in good. every. He's he's almost auto include. He's so good. I don't know about that. I but, would say uh, so. But he is he is very useful and good. Mm. Um, uh, has, has he even been using his triple zero? No, I don't think Don's I remembered that he's got triple zero. Yeah, I haven't seen him take yeah, a tackle. Yeah, he just yeah. mentioned, so Don just saying that he got too excited about the beautiful block kill box he set up. <laughs> he forgot to use triple zero. He could have stressed Luke. So Mars Double Mike stressed Luke <laughs> for free. You know what, though, at that point, the, the calculate token did nothing for him anyways. Yeah. It's not like he lost anything. I mean, it's always good to have, though. Yeah. Um, uh, Mike Beard is saying that the scum list makes no sense. I'm not entirely sure why you think that. Um all you have to do is drop trick shot, and you can upgrade one of those useless Zs into the best ship in X-wing. A that, quad jumper. The quad jumper. That's yeah. exactly. We know where you're going before you even get there, bud. Yeah. But we appreciate you. Um, honestly, uh, a quad jumper here instead of the Z95s might be better. <laughs> I'm right? not gonna lie. I think um, Mike Beard might be right. It's really hard to. It's really hard for those PS1 Z95s to get their um, target locks. Get their target locks in there. But um, I don't think that matters in this list. I think they're just there for blockers, and if you if you forget them. You forget they have a target lock. They K turn and tag you. Right, right. I mean, it's sure true. you can you can elect to take the damage, but say it's a situation like this with Luke now. Yeah, one life. Yeah, he he cannot be in front of that Zed. He can't. True. Right. True. Because the auto damage kills you, and then the four attack dice kills you. So it's I don't know. I don't think for twenty seven <laughs> points. I think people are sleeping on the on the home missile binaries. I think they're really good. I mean, they're 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 not uh, in no way bad. No, that's for sure. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, it's just, for 27 points, that's a good value, they're, I think. They're a good little blocker. They're yeah. just hard to really take advantage of. Mm. Um, and uh, like even in that last last round, he ended up using his primaries against Luke instead of firing off the missile, right? True. That target lock's going to stick on the on uh, AP5 for a while, I think, if it's still there. I think um, he spent it. Did he spend it? I think, yeah, he shoot? spent it, and AP5 must have just elected to take the damage. Oh. Oh, maybe he did shoot. Or um, he, no, no, never mind. You're right. He no, because all that dice. damage was, went into Luke. You're yeah. right, yeah, because he tried to finish Luke, and Luke evaded it. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. Um, maybe he cleaned up the, the target lock uh, incorrectly? Maybe that, or it's under our little counter there. Uh, anyways, um, so what do we do this turn? This is a good question. I think it's Crash City again. I think Luke needs to get out of there. Is there room for Luke to barrel roll? I don't know. No, not with advanced with supernatural reflexes. Yeah, I'm wondering if. Oh, he might fit a parallel a parallel barrel roll to ship left. To ship left, but, but then I'm he not has sure. to go straight, right? That, um, yeah, he has to do a straight maneuver this turn, or so else he can he go dies. four straight. Um, Zed yeah. does two four one four and clear stress. If he could barrel roll and do a four straight, oh right, he's stressed. He can't barrel roll. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he cannot do actions. Absolutely. Um, so, in which case, Luke's only option here is like a one or two straight, maybe. But then if he... Oh, so... Um, but one straight, otherwise he hits the rock and dies. But stun pilot is just if you hit debris, though. You can hit a ship and not blow up? Yeah, Sorry? Yeah, he can hit a ship. Yeah, he okay. can hit a ship. But if he does, if he does a turn, he yeah. takes a damage. Yeah. If he hits a rock, he takes a damage. Yeah. So his only option is to do a one straight. Because uh, two straight might land him on that rock. Yeah. Right? But Palab's going to do a hard two. Or a hard three if he has it. I can't remember if it has it. <clears throat> yeah, um... Mike Beard, I'm surprised that Zed didn't uh, just go one for it as well and block that. Well, I mean, you know Don's got a plan. He always does, and let's just see what's going to unfold. This is when you bring in Boba, do a two bank, and land right in front of uh, Luke. I think you self, -bob self block Boba again and just nuke something again at range one. Again, he's going to have Han, he's going to have a focus, he's going to have rerolls from his ability. Boba's happy where he is to sit there all day. It's true. Yep, yeah, there it is. He's going to self block, he's going to bump and self block Boba again. It's brilliant. 
And there was a point somebody said earlier that uh, Blount can come in and block Luke, but that doesn't matter because if that happens, Luke's dead. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Luke wants to get, I don't know, a focus token for defense, right? Um, even the two um, force charges might not be enough mm -hmm. to save him. Well, I guess two. He's only got two dice, and he's not getting to range three this turn, probably. Unless there's something I'm missing. I don't think so. Well, he can supernatural reflex. No, he can't. Sorry. So he can barrel roll. So he can uh, one bank clear stress, then barrel roll. Mm -hmm. Close as foils. One bank. Oh, he could one bank. But no, he can't because of lose stabilizer. He yeah. takes damage. Yeah, he's got to go straight. He has to do a one straight so or else he explodes. One, one straight is literally the only maneuver yep. he has available to him. Yep. Clear yep. stress and then hope for a focus token. There's not die next. I don't know. It's yeah, a nasty are, combo. Yeah. Uh -huh. There it is, the one straight. Yeah, it's literally the only maneuver he could do and not blow up. And the only action he can take here is... Um, Focus or a barrel roll. Well, no, he wants to uh, clear... Stabilize, loose Stabilizer. What does Loose Stabilizer do again? That is, if you do a turn, or a, if you do a non-straight, non -straight, you take a damage. So he wants to clear that if he can. Uh, there's a lot of target locks on Luke. Oh, there's a lot of crit tokens. So I wonder what Luke did as an action. He's still thinking about it. Yeah, that's to be fair, people. I actually agree with this. this is the this is the move I do. I barrel roll Luke as well. Barrel roll Luke. Yep. He's gonna get out of Boba's range. He's gonna get out of Boba's arc. Oh, it depends. And he's just gonna pray to God Palab doesn't kill him. Uh, he might still be in Boba's arc. That's real close. <laughs> yeah, but I think this is the only maneuver he has. This is yep. what I would have done too. I mean, it's only, your only option. Yeah, you just pray to God Palab doesn't kill you, and then if you survive, you've got supernatural reflexes, and you can four forward and fix the loose stabilizer next round. Yeah. Just hope that the force is with you on this turn. <laughs> I mean, with double force, there's a potential he can regen. Like, if Palab only does two damage and he gets two paints, he's fine. Yeah. So I think Luke, I think Tristan's in a tough situation, but he's doing the best job he can with what he has at the table. Right. Uh, so Lord of Britannia is asking, there's a discussion here about the loose stabilizer crit. The way it works uh, in 2.0 is you take a damage if you hit a rock. Uh, it does not cause damage when you bump a ship. They're two separate things. And Mike Beard, I'm willing to bet that he is at a Boba's arc. I think he is. Also agreed, that's revived. Luke's just got to survive now and hang on to his MOV. Yep. Well, I don't know. Uh, Tristan's running a three and two. Um, uh, oh, is that dead Luke? What, what just happened? Uh, sorry, Tristan's running three and two in terms of his um, his uh, his wins this this tournament. Uh, so if he doesn't win this game, I don't think his MOV is going to get him to top cut anyway. So that's he needs true. To be four and two. Um, so if Tristan wants to win. Luke actually needs to try and fight. Man, is this stream curse is this stream curse real? Tristan's uh, getting garbage dice this whole game. Oh, uh, I feel like he he was saying earlier that he wasn't playing. I overheard him talking that he wasn't playing particularly well this weekend, uh, and he was not feeling great about his games. Oh, well, and it I mean, seems like today, uh, at least here on on the stream, he's having just as much trouble. Do you know what though? I mean, I think I, I I'm not against any of his approaches. No, Don no. was just so on point yeah. that that hawk bump was just. Literally god tier. It was I, epic. Well, right? this is the perfect. thing. I think his I think his big mistake was not bringing Luke around back. Right. Right. That should have happened early on. He should have turned uh, um, uh, in like the second or third round, whenever it was. Well, also he Nora, should have gone behind Palov and the Z ninety five interest instead of in front of them. Also, Nora tagging all that early damage all overall yep. was really hurtful. Yep, to him, absolutely. Right? Like she has to. That's the problem with the Y wings and the overall that they have to suffer a lot of damage before they get into usable range. Yeah, um, it's true. It's kind of like a like in a fighting game you'd normally c c characterize that as like a Zangief type character where you okay. eat a lot of damage to get in close. Yeah, but they don't have enough hull to eat a lot of damage. Like mm -hmm. she was. Pretty much dead by the time she got into her optimal range. Uh, AP5 taking a rear shot against. Ooh! Palo. Don says, get that out of here. I am R5 Don 4. I take zero damage. <laughs> Can't see me because I'm John Cena. So, not much damage happened that round, it looks like. No, Luke survived. As I said, that was. Yeah, I guess he was just out of arc. Um, yeah, and now obviously we kind of glossed over Palab's shot, but he survived, and that's what he Tristan needed. Yep, that is exactly what Tristan So I suspect you see a supernatural reflexes for a maybe a bank boost and then just a four straight and fix loose saber stabilizer. Honestly, I would just go for it. I would I would boost forward and then talon roll right in front of um uh right around the rock, right? So so that he's facing and can shoot. 
Like like I said, through the rock though. No no no. If you if you boost if you, straight if forward, you boost straight on forward, the rock, don't you think? No, nah, if you boost straight forward, you don't hit the rock. Then you talon roll around it. Ooh, that's dicey. And you're facing. Uh, no, the talon roll will put him back this way. Arc down. No board, no 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 no. Down. If he's if he's if he's facing this yeah. way, talon roll this way, and he's facing back up. No, but the talon roll goes on the side of your ship, in the front, right? So it would be facing this way. No no no. Yeah. You, you don't. You face you face backwards. Yeah. So Talon roll ship left would face him this way. No. No, you What's face that? you face back the way you were coming. You're just to the side. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry. What's that? Great radio. <laughs> Samit's just confused as to how Talon rolls work. I'm right. Um, I'm sure I'm right. No, no, no. If he boosted straight forward. It's fine. Forward, I agree with you, but I am yeah. right. <laughs> Anyways. That we'll is what, what the, the, this is what, uh, this is what he, I, I think, I would do with Luke. Just a last ditch effort. Well, you know what? It says Luke can't risk going over the rock. He's dead anyways. Right. Uh, the but only the thing, thing is, if he dies, it's forty MOV. If he lives, MOV doesn't matter. MOV doesn't matter to Tristan. He needs to win the game, right? If he wants to make it to the top cut, so he might as well kill as much as he can. Right? You know what? Okay, so he's got his lock on Boba, right? Uh, Luke. Yeah. Is that lock on Boba? I think so. Yeah. So then I tend to agree with you. Then yeah. you're right. If he can get arc on him, I take that proton torpedo shot. Yep. Hopefully force through a crit. I've got the force. I've got a target lock. You're expecting three hits and uh, two hits and a crit yep. out of that proton torpedo minimum. Mm-hmm. Maybe you get lucky and you get you know you get <laughs> two crits and a hit or whatever it is. So boost forward, then talon roll around the rock. Okay. That is that is my suggestion for Luke. Uh, whether or not he's going to do it, who knows? Um, and maybe hits the rock and dies. Who knows? Who cares? Right? Like he's going to die anyways. You could boost in 4K, boost in but 4K then makes the most then sense. you might not have arc on. Um, uh, you might not ha- might not have range or arc on Boba. Uh, oh, he didn't fix the crit. Mike Beard, he did not fix the crit because he so couldn't. So he can't talon roll. He can't he because, to... because it's not a straight Actually, maneuver. Actually, he can't talon roll. He can't 4K. 4Ks are not straight maneuvers. Yes, but I think... So he's just going to run this turn. Yes, I think that's what I was saying. He's going to do the yeah. four straight. He's yeah, going to barrel gonna, supernatural, reflex, re, supernatural reflexes for a barrel roll, four straight, clear, and then clear yeah. the crit. He's I've, got to clear loose stabilizer to, to get it back in the game. I'm surprised he didn't clear loose stabilizer. Oh, uh, he needed the barrel, barrel roll to survive because yeah, he was going to be in Boba's arc. Yep, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, he was dead if he stayed in Boba's arc. I think. Halab's coming after him. Yeah, no reason not to. Yep, that Terror. three dice primer is going to be four at range one if he rotates his arc. And I wonder if he rotates arc. Or maybe uh, he just sits there. Yeah, he just sits there, takes the focus token. Right. Because now yeah, he's got no need. So yeah, he can shoot Blount, he can shoot... Um, yeah. Where is AP5? Oh, AP5... Uh, is K-turned. Did a sloop. Yeah, those guys have sloops on Oh, they have sloops they? now. Is it sloop, I think? You're probably right. I think they have... Three sloop? The two sloop? But we lost the chat, by the way. Oh, no. No, no, no. They have just the 5K. Uh, how did he end up there? The AP5. Hmm. 5K. Uh, it's 4K, yeah. But wasn't he facing... I didn't realize he was facing... I think facing... it was angled. It was angled. Yeah. Bad shots. Bad shots. Hmm. Okay, so just a 3 forward from... 3 or 4 forward from Boba Fett. Boost. <clears throat> oh. Take a target lock on Blount. Yeah, you've I, figured, got that figures, I figured he. Don probably figures he's got a. Uh, he's got Luke with uh, Palob. Yep. And then he can just use that range one shot on Blount. It's a smart choice. So it's four dice out the back with yep. one reroll from Marauder, one reroll from uh, uh, from Boba Fett's ability. So that's a really good chance. Oh, and he took a target lock as just well. in case. In case and he completely he's, whiffs, he's yeah. covered every single option. Yeah, he's he's good. Um, he's got plenty of rolls. So there we see the supernatural reflexes for the boost. Wait, doesn't that kill him? Nope, supernatural reflexes. No, oh, that's no, right, that's no, the boost. He, he, that's the maneuver he took. That was the boost, but doesn't... No, no this, is not the, this is the maneuver he chose. Yeah, doesn't that kill him? It uh, does. Yes. I guess he figures on his own terms. Yeah. So he's... Tristan, yeah. Tristan, the gem that he is, figured he's going to go out on his own term. <laughs> he's not going to give Palo the satisfaction of killing him. I mean, I would have tried. I would have. Uh, I would have. Well, I, I think he's in that mindset where he's just here to have a good time now. No, I mean, yeah. Um, he's three and two. The MOV is low enough. I think he feels like 
he's not getting through, he's not getting past mm. Don, he's going to have like a bit of a fun. And God bless you, Tristan, that was a class act. I like that. Yeah, I mean, though, you fight, though, right? Like, sure. Yeah. But uh, you never know in the mindset that you're in. You've had a long day, maybe you're tired, you've had some bad dice rolls. Yeah. I mean, I can't say shit. I'm the, I'm the tilt king of the world, so I, I would always do I that. I suppose. It was just a weird choice. Um, there were options, although, uh, again... I guess his only option was to go straight, right? Because he can't... Yeah. So Don's he... just been all over him, and now Blount just takes two hits in a crit and potentially dies as well. Yeah. This is a direct. He's dead. Um, of... Tilt J200. Uh, Luke died because he had the loose stabilizer crit. And Tristan, for whatever reason, chose to do a... Uh, Harikiri. Non-straight maneuver, so yeah. it finished Luke off. He killed his own um, Luke. He probably did have some straight maneuver options. Um, couldn't he have barrel rolled and then... Uh, he could have barrel rolled yeah, and done straight. a straight, and yes. then a three straight. Three straight. Uh, three straight. Three straight clear his stress, or yeah. uh, if he had it still, fix the crit, right? That's what I would have done. I'm not sure why he didn't. Um, but uh, I guess he just wasn't feeling it. It's up to AP5, which is... Not possible. No, not possible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, suffice it to say, AP5 is a great little ship, um, but he just... Doesn't do it on his own. I mean, Don, do could, it on his own. Don could decide to fly all the ships off the board. Yeah, it's possible. Um, it's true. Uh, Tristan has had some terrible roles this game, uh, Lord of Britannia. But I think we're seeing that overall, though. We've seen, across the six games that we've streamed, a lot of terrible seen, roles. It's not. It's not just that, but it's a dice game. Yeah. And, and what we've seen is we've seen the rebalancing of mm -hmm. and the removal of all the unnecessary mechanics in 1.0 that made mm -hmm. it that you never had a bad roll. Yeah, so we right? just kind of have to get used to the new normal. we got to retrain ourselves to remember that dice rolls don't always go your way. You yeah. do the best laid plans and all that, and sometimes you flop. But after, you know, but after so much of 1.0, we were like, oh, I fire a harpoon and does eight crits because yeah. this game's dumb. <laughs> that, we're, we're trying to untrain our mindsets in that. It's a, it's a lot better off. I, think, I do um, I agree with you. I, I was saying this in the last it's game, healthier. but I'll say it again here. Um, I think now we're back at a balance of list building, flying, and dice variants, right? Yeah. Whereas towards the end of 2.0, the game was about 80 to 90% list building. If you built your list appropriately, um, no amount of flying or dice variants could really kill you. Yeah. Uh, so now we're back to a pretty equal balance between the three. Yeah, and TCAS uh, PGA, you're right. The opening salvo looked like things were all going Tristan's way. And then it just kind of went pear-shaped for him. And then yeah. for uh, Tiff J two hundred, no, I'm not mad at harpoons at all. They're just they were just really terribly designed, mm -hmm. and that's fine. <laughs> and they they saw the they saw the upper limits of garbage in 1.0, and that was them. You know, and what? now they fixed a lot of the stuff. There would have been fixes for harpoons too. They could have been designed better, right? They just had every advantage, right? Yeah. There was no disadvantage to them. No so conceivable they were the weakness to them. Yeah, none whatsoever. And they didn't even make sense thematically. Right? Uh, um, they 100% were yes. Yeah. Like, there's no if ends, or buts about it. They, they were, were definitely they were wrong. Definitely, definitely wrong. Um, All 2.0 torpedoes save target locks. You are 100% correct. That's why we're seeing proton torpedoes everywhere in the game, yep. especially with force token users. But proton torpedoes are nine points. Yeah, so, and, and here's the difference, right? Um, all 2.0 torpedoes save their target locks. So they all have that advantage. That's yes. how they're balanced now. Yes. Um, but, but, uh, in 1.0, you had. Uh, torpedoes without target, uh, so like harpoons had target locks. Yep. They had the splash. Yep. They had um, the crit through the, the hull damage. There was also uh, crit through to hull damage, right? Yeah. Um, and they had uh, they had um, what should we call it? Uh, a condition, a negative condition. You might just die if you try to remove it. No. What's the one that What's the one that gave you a free free hit on every um, every munitions attack? No, the crit. Whenever you took a crit no, damage, you took an extra damage. No, no, no. Uh, what's 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 the upgrade that gave you the free hit? I don't know. With with munitions. Oh no! Uh, you till what now. is that? Till J two hundred. I'm not targeting them at all. I'm just saying they uh, they were guidance all, chips. Thank you very much. They were the <laughs> upper. They were the upper level of the power curve, and I think it was actually, to be honest with you, I have a sticking suspicion that harpoons were introduced into the game on purpose for us to find out, for the designers to find out what is the upper limit of bad. Yeah. And I think they did that, and they used that as data for 2.0. And if that's what it was for, then I'm glad that they existed. Yeah. Because I'm really in love with the addition of this game. There was, I'm really happy with it. I there love was it. Just, there was just no negatives to them <laughs> whatsoever. Tristan is just laughing like yeah. a bad man. Poor Tristan. This guy role. just can't even get... He can't get a single piece of paint. Yeah. This poor guy. 
Uh, and, and in fact, uh, so PT106 is saying keeping target locks on munitions was the right call. I agree, right? Yeah. Uh, we got rid of guidance chips. Yeah. We um, left the target lock on them. Yeah. And that, that, I think, puts them in the right kind of balance, right? Uh, that really puts them in the right kind of balance. Um, harpoons were so... Uh, I mean, I disagree with TFJ200 here who's saying that they were... Um, uh, not not that broken. I would I love think, to see that list, though, if you don't mind. I think it was F, super broken. Um, uh, no, it was just a healthy conversation. I'd love to see that list. I'm very curious. Oh, yeah, yeah. What what do you think, uh, TF, uh, TIFF J200? What were the five most broken? Because uh, they were a trajectory simulator. Um, definitely pretty broken. Still broken right? in 2.0. A tawny mine link? Yeah. Pretty yeah. broken? Yeah, pre-nerf right? mine link. Pre-nerf X7 would probably be up in the top five. Right. Uh, Pre-nerf X7, yeah, that was pretty broken as well. Um, uh, Maybe Palpatine pre-nerfs if you mm. stack it with a stuff device that sooner fell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Early, uh, early Palpatine. Auto thrashers, okay, I will give you that one potentially. Yeah. TLT, yes. TLT, yes. yes. TLT, yes. Absolutely. Yes. I don't think I don't think auto thrusters were broken. I think they were necessary, but um, at the same time. They were necessary. Regen was awful, Tilf. Yeah, you've been playing for a while, I can tell. You've got some good good <laughs> ideas. Uh, auto thrusters were necessary because TLT was a thing. Mm -hmm. um, no, TLT came out to correct auto thrusters. Is that right? Yep. Oh, right. Okay. Well, those two were all broken, right? Like, yeah. and, and so I'm glad that TLT's not a thing. I'm glad that uh, auto thrusters are no longer a thing. I'm glad that uh, all the super regen yeah right the infinite regen not a thing so what it sounds like to me self 200 is that what you're saying is that the game was already broken by the time auto thrust by the time harpoons came out the top eight format before yes rounded. absolutely okay yeah, sure yeah, yeah not to take anything away from this game right now from don and tristan and we've been postulating on all these other things but we're going to quickly t touch base on how the top eight is going to work out yeah absolutely so uh the what's going on with the top eight uh so as we mentioned before uh in the ptl open each player brought three lists and they've been uh alternating between those lists over the course of the swiss if you played um each of your lists twice you get an extra uh, uh an extra point. prize and if you play each of your lists once you also get an extra match point um so um uh, so, uh, what's going on though in the top eight is that over the three rounds, you have to play each of your lists once. Uh, so the round you play, the list you play in, in the top eight round, you cannot play in the top four or in the final round. So basically once you get into the top eight cut, you can play each one of your lists only once. Yep. Uh, and so that's, you're going to see three, for you to win the PTL Open, you would have to have won three of the top eight cuts, all with three different lists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, he still can't even get a goddamn Poor Tristan. <laughs> Poor Tristan. Oh no. Poor Just Tristan. Lots of blanks. Lots and lots of blanks. Tristan's having real time just aiming at the dice tray, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> uh, no, I tend to agree. All right, different, here we he's go. trying a different. <laughs> of course! There you he go. tries to put a Don's die, and of course it automatically rolled a crit. A final crit. Uh, and of course Don, zero respect, evades it anyways. Yep, yep, yep. Maximum respect. Uh, so we're seeing in the chat here just lots of hate for <laughs> all the things that everyone hated towards the end of first edition. But again, I think that's and, a healthy discourse. It, it, yep, we, absolutely. We did get to see what wasn't working with the game, and a lot of that has been tried to be adjusted in 2.0. Yeah, I, I, mean, think I think most generally of all of us are really happy with the, the addition of the game that we mm -hmm. currently have. It's really exciting and fun to play again. Yep. I mean, there are some combos. There's still some comboing going on, but that's going to happen with anything when there's like so many ships and so I many mean, cards. I mean, there will be interesting combos. There's stuff that's a little a little broken right now, um, like Han, Han Gunner, for example. Yeah. But even then, uh, even this Boba Fett is not impossible to kill, right? Yeah. Um, no, you just gotta get arcs on him. You gotta fire at him. Yeah, exactly. Fire him at range three, and you yeah. win. It, it's still it's still quite possible yeah. to. Um, th there's nothing right now that is super dominant. Yeah. Um, and there's nothing right now that super sucks. Yeah. Right. Um, so uh, we've got a healthy, uh, we've got a fairly healthy meta, mm -hmm. uh, but. Uh, everything, everything right now is as uh, Tiff two hundred there. Uh, everything that is currently a little broken is balanceable by yep. points changes. Yeah, I completely right? agree. Han Gunner's going to change. Marauder's probably going to change, um, and a few of the other things that um, uh, that we are seeing too much of are probably going to be increased in price. The things that we're seeing too little of, for example, Jump Masters, um, 
are let's probably going to be decreased in let's price. Let's not even open that can of worms yeah, in the stream because we'll be talking for two hours. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They're right where they should be, ground into the ground where they were. I they had know, a year and a half of being broken. They'll, they'll, be, uh, they'll be probably points adjusted so that they, they can be a little bit more... A little bit more useful than agreed. They are right now. Agreed. Yeah. I mean, I don't want the I don't want them gone from the game forever. They'll yep. come back eventually, but let's bring them back slow. Yeah, incrementally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw enough of them as an ace player. I saw more yeah. than enough of them over the last two years. I, I hope that the I hope that they're relatively conservative in their balancing. Changes. Agreed. I'd rather right? have many let's small not changes. like yeah. Let's not make you know. Let's not say oh we haven't seen the jump masters much, so they're twenty points cheaper. Right, adjust them a little bit. Yeah. Right, make them five points cheaper and see what happens. I think so. I think right. as a general, mm -hmm. you will see more cautious uh, adjustment to the game. Yeah, and uh, not o not overreactions. I hope. Yeah, I hope um, because the overreactions were what killed the game in first edition. Agreed. Right? Overcorrections what led to a lot of the broken combos we were just talking about. And they were they were overcorrections. Oh my god! Uh, Maximum ooh. disrespect. Ouch! That's four dice ahead. out the rear just, at just, just, AP five, and this is going to be and because it's Tristan Hill blank. Uh, what did I call? There you go. God bless these two players. We appreciate your time. Uh, God, thank all of you out there who have stuck with us through all of our thematic and theological conversations. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate you. We love you all. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to be back very